I will risk an early morning journey the parade towards the phosphate mine of Bukra, some 100 kilometers from the city of Layun, in the western Sahara, the country that saw its natural resource exploited illegally by the occupier in Morocco since 1975. Ahmed <laughs> and his friend Maloha, with Bukra being the place they both come from, accompanied us on this risky journey. Being the original inhabitants of the village of Bukra widely considered to be one of the wealthiest areas in the north of Africa. The Sahrawi indigenous people here, hundreds of people, maybe 1,800 families, all of them were marginalized and unemployed, including some of the elderly who used to make their living in the past by working as shepherds. All of them over here have not drawn any benefits out of their land's natural resources. Hamdina, do you know why our families had to leave the region? One of the main reasons was the difficult conditions there. There was a lack of clean water, electricity and schools. The worst thing was the scarcity of food. In addition, there was not appropriate housing in the very difficult climate. We stopped midway, on our trip from the capital of the occupied territory to the mine, in order to enjoy a tea break together. We now started talking about negligence in the area of the Pukraf as fame mine. Although Morocco is earning a lot of money from the mine in Western Sahara, hardly any Sahrawis have seen benefits from those huge amounts of money. The phosphate mining activities stretched throughout a vast area known as Al Beda near the city of Dakhla. In the region of Bukra, we find enormous amounts of phosphate piling up southwards. We should perhaps mention again that the Bukra mine is said to possess the largest known phosphate reserves. In turn, Maloha has an opinion on the subject as well. Why are Saharawis migrating elsewhere from here? Saharawis have to migrate because of the poverty they experience. People in some countries believe that we are rich and earn our monthly salaries, but this is a lie. We have no way of earning a living. On our way thereafter, Ahmed now was slowing down the cursing speed to avoid damage to his car because of the badly cobbled roads. The benefits from the wealth are claimed by Morocco and European Union countries. They claim that we as Sahrawi benefit from our natural resources. But here is the simple evidence reflecting the falseness of what Morocco tries to sell to the public. We have to use this patchy and wet road at a time when the Bokra region boasts huge amounts of phosphate. This rough road ahead is a simple proof confirming the lies regarding developments of our region that are propagated by the Europeans in Morocco. The Bukhra Phosphate Mine is considered an area controlled by the military. The Moroccan army is responsible for this site and stops anyone who tries to get close to it. Gasoline aircraft here in this place dedicated to the descent of military helicopters.
so we had to use our cameras clandestinely after having been able to reach only some points near the mine. Have a look and see it for yourselves. These are trucks that transport water and there is another one over there. Trucks are transporting water from the city of Layoun for the Moroccan soldiers and settlers working for the Moroccan government and living there. Stop! Do stop! Retreat a little bit. Is there anyone approaching us? You will have to hide the camera if there are any military personnel coming. During our journey, we had to film sometimes hiding our film equipment, as there are any intensive presence of soldiers, detectives, and settlers protecting this very critical location. One of the Nushata Foundation's cameramen took an additional risk himself by sneaking into an area within the sand wall built by the Moroccan army and surrounding the mining area. This pair is protected by armored soldiers. Large shifts have taken place in the trade during the last years and thousands of companies have stopped importing because of the legal nature of the trade. Today, the rock is only transported to three countries, in India, China and New Zealand, where the rock is used for fertilizer production. This will show you how our resources are being drained day by day by Moroccans who have occupied our land and by European Union countries. The latter try to justify their violation of the international law, but they are unable to justify the depletion of our natural resources by telling people that the Sahrawi are benefiting from it. We have not seen any benefits so far. This area you are seeing now faces a very serious violation of human rights. This is a strictly controlled area, and we should not stay here anymore because of the sensitivity of the place. The officials are often watching us from afar, so we have to have a quick look and leave if we're being observed. They try to control us. This is because of the wealth that this region contains, and which Morocco exploits without letting the Sahrawi people benefit from it. We, the younger generation, are the best proof that we do not benefit from anything. We are here to show you the falseness of claims made by the European Union and some other countries. After having spent about an hour and a half within the phosphate main fields, our presence there seems to start drawing attention, through which we were obviously running considerable danger and the risk of being discovered and detained. Thus, we decided to get back into our way home to the occupied city of Layoun. During our investigation on the illegal plundering conducted by the Moroccan owned company, OCP, a hard work had to be carried out over months to access several documents showing any involvement of foreign companies in that plundery. Under clandestine secrecy, a special sector in the foundation has got access to hundreds of documents 
and photographs showing German companies to be involved in the depletion of phosphate from the mine. In addition, a very recent document dated in early 2019 is now proving the involvement of China and India in the import of shavement of phosphate. Applying prices ranging from $6,099,000 to $9,655,161. If the international resolutions have indicated that any depletion of the natural resources of Western Sahara is a violation of the international law, as again confirmed by the European Court of Justice in decisions in the last two years in 2017. The question rises for how long some countries and companies will continue to violate the law and multiply the suffering of Sahrawi people through their illegal activities in Western Sahara.